Good afternoon and welcome to the Love Headline News. Coming up, residents of Fuase vow to resist relocation of district capital from their community after two died in protest. And also, Student Council bemoans supply delays. My name is Kwesi Debra. Thank you for joining us. Second cycle students in the Ashanti region are advocating a policy to allow school authorities to negotiate and purchase food supplies. The Student Representative Council says persistent delay by supplies engaged by government to deliver foodstuff is impeding progress. Regional President Rafael Queen Jr. spoke at the launch of the 21st Annual Students Week in Kumase. Again, government dealt with suppliers of the free SHS at source and released payment to them without recourse to our heads of institutions. Mr. Chairman, this review is not the best and make the schools handicapped in many ways. If heads were given the opportunity to negotiate with suppliers and to buy their own food stock and other supplies, I th they obviously can begin better, make some savings and channel it to other areas. Mr. Chairman, school management deal with various issues of cost in schools which are unforeseen. The one-month-long event is on the theme Emancipation of Students Through Dialogue and a Philosophy of Nonviolence. In attendance was Second Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Arban Babin. He admonished students to explore proper dialogue, to seek redress to their grievances. Violence certainly mustn't always be the first means of addressing our concerns. Panel Chairman, there are instances when an aggrieved party may not take up arms against the aggressor, but may use what some people have referred to as, and I quote, positive defiance, unquote, and as a means of bringing about a desired change. In non-violence resistance, people draw attention to their plight and appeal to the humanity of those whose actions go against the common good. And you heard the second deputy speaker of parliament, Aban Babin. Natives and other residents of Fuasi in the Chumakwama district of the Shati region have vowed to resist relocation of the district capital from the town to neighboring Chedier. The declaration comes after police shot and killed two people in violent protests on the issue on Wednesday. Angry youth who mounted roadblocks and bent lorry tiles besieged their assembly offices to see air conditioners being sent to Chedier. Now, Hemi Interior is on the beat. Um, Ohime, why are we here in the first place? Thank you, Kwasi. Uh, in 2008, uh, then President John Ajakum uh, created uh, the Achuma Kwangoma district with 26 others and uh, mentioned Tredia as being the district capital. Uh, later on, the residents of uh, Trede uh, also came with a lot of petitions, so there were agitations all over. So uh, a compromise decision was made. Uh, so they chose uh, Fuase as a compromise uh, district capital. And in 2012, the uh, people of uh, uh, Trede went to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court ruled that that decision to uh, choose Fuase as a compromise district capital was wrong. So they, they are not that decision. So the District Assembly has been implementing the Supreme Court order, indicating that the district should be relocated from Fuase to Trede, and that is uh, what brought all these uh, uh, violent uh, clashes between residents and police, leading to the death of two people. Yes, and you've been speaking with family members. What have they been telling you? For, 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 for them, they believe strongly that the police uh, uh, dastardly uh, shot and killed their relatives. One of them, uh, Mami Jemfua, who is also uh, uh, the wife of one of the deceased Prince Boatin, has been lamenting over the issue. <laughs> Yes, uh, <laughs> 
Um, that's quite a sad event, but uh, well. yes, uh, for for residents, uh, they will say they will resist any attempt to relocate the capital from Fuase to Chadia. Uh, so I've been speaking to the youth leader Elvis uh, a few year who tells me now they are back and they will do everything to resist this. Solicit to solve it. To maintain the uh, council here, uh, council here, that's all. The only thing we want. We are not going to agree with government. Never, ever. It won't happen. Because it, this year has been here for the past 11 good years. Imagine. If it happened to you, how are you going to feel? So we are, we are in pain. We are in pain in our hearts. Do you understand? We are in pain. So there's no way for, for us to leave it just like that. Never. It won't happen. So assuming government decides to take it away from this particular town, what will you do uh, as a youth, what will you do uh, as people? When government uses its own powers to remove the whole thing from here, we are not going to say anything, but we will know what to do. All right, President Okufado delivered his second State of the Nation's address on the floor of Parliament Thursday. He touched on the economy, security, among others. A live news has been sampling public reactions. Uh, considering the fuel systems, what they said about the fuel, they will come and help in decrease and everything. I, I hope fuels are not reduced, but actually it could have been maintained for a certain time. But as Nana said, with free education, he has implemented it, but so things are harder. You see, things are really harder. For me, roaming about is all in a store when you are in a company. Most of our managers are hunting also because sales are dropping. Mm -hmm. People don't get the money. How do, you, do they go about buying things or purchasing things? So that is the really two of the thing that you should watch. Uber for Obiso, Uber for free senior high. Obiye betrefia, and then first one also. A human nurse will take care of him. Can't stand up with the education number. Because Uber will be betrefia there, and first Obiye nurse. Now so Obiso over there. Obiye will watch this. It's one factory. Obiye Kazava factory. What is bigger, Kazava factory? He will create Kazava, and then he will create Kazava. He can't afford to idea. He will create. He will create. Obiye will be banchi. We na na da na da da. And you heard public reactions to presidents second state of the nation's address on the floor of parliament and that's how we end the live headline news at four my name is Kwesi Deborah. let's do this announcement a fully completed building on 90 by 70 feet land size is being offered for sale the building consists on consists of one master bedroom two addiction rooms one kitchen one storeroom and one toilet the building is well fenced it has water and electricity the documents on it are genuine and it can be verified at any institution. You can locate this building at a Buakwa Mercru near the ECG office. The price is very, very affordable. You can call 020 9366 or 0245 459501. 020 or 0245 Ruben. And that'll be your next house, right? Oh, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go and pay for it as soon oh, as possible. Oh, Charlie, one change. master bedroom, <laughs> two addiction rooms. You know. One kitchen, <laughs> one storeroom, <laughs> one toilet. Oh, brother. <laughs> On a 90 by 70 feet. Straight. Baby oh. Lala. Yo. We are back again. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. 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 is going for that house right away. Yeah, I mean, I mean, everybody can dream. Oh, won't you know? you dream? No, 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 this is know, not a dream. No, no, this is yeah, not a dream. No, dream. No, he's I mean, you're talking about, you are talking about 90 by 70 feet. You are saying that I can't afford that. Oh, I am not more. saying that. I mean. I'm saying everybody can dream. But then for the dream to come into fruition, that is the key. No he's some. actually living his dream. <laughs> he bought one at Kote no longer ago. <laughs> Nothing is too hard for Kusi Denver. Oh, is it, is it, is it Ruben, also, is it also Ruben, another dream Ruben, for indeed, you? Ruben, indeed, you know my pocket. You okay. know? You know my pocket. So when will you guys Denver. stop dreaming? Uh -huh. This is not a dream. No, so whose pocket are you discussing Kofi now? Kofi is talking about Kofi, my pocket. Kofi, oh, Kofi, okay. please, just so you know, we stopped dreaming in 2015. All right. We are living our dreams now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and we are discussing Kwesi's pocket, right? No, it we are not discussing my, uh, his packet. Yeah, but that's what they say. That's not what it is. No, Drive time, I love uh -huh. is what it is. Keep it right here for some good more music. <laughs> You're rocking with the best. Drive time on Love 99.5 FM. The best music, the best variety. DJ Ruben is riding the city home. You know that's right.